Ronnie Haskell here with Keller Williams in downtown Somerville. I'm here with Brad Mallett today at Coastal Coffee Roasters, and we're going to talk about what makes Somerville so great. Stay tuned. All right. All right. All right, Brad. So you were just telling me you've been here in Somerville for about 12 years. You could have opened up a coffee shop anywhere, right? Tell me what your vision was when you moved here. So the vision was to get out of the lifestyle that we had in New York. Uh, I worked for a telecommunications company. The children's mom worked in the nursing and hospital field, and it was just getting very overwhelming. But we couldn't focus on ourselves, our kid children, and our community. It was just getting very corporate-minded and driven, and the atmosphere in New York was changing rapidly. Yeah. So we picked up everything and followed uh, my best friend's at the time, his widow, moved to Somerville. And we came down, fell in love with it, and just made the big jump to say, let's move. And then we decided, what are we going to do? So we decided to do a coffee company roasting. A brewery was actually in the business plan and making a community space. And that was, what, 12 years ago? Yeah, 2010. So you beat me just by a little bit into town. Uh, Oh, no, 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 I beat you. you. I I beat you (laughs) just a little bit into town. Um, But we've we've both watched this community grow from what was... A small, much smaller town, and in some ways, it still feels that way, right? Because the community and the people here still operate on a very personal basis. It's one of those small town feels that you don't want to do anything wrong to anybody because everybody's going to know within the end of the day, type of thing. That's Which is right. great because if you're raising children, it's nice to know that somebody else is looking out for your kids too. So yeah, and this town certainly has that feel. Um, Remember when we had that flood? And then the next day, 50 people just showed up to right help in the middle you. of a pandemic yeah. to help us get open because their favorite coffee shop was not going to be open. So they all grouped together and helped bring that to fruition. So you are former military, and I'm highlighting yeah. this because it is Veterans Day today. Yeah, Air Force, game I. Yep, so Air Force. You still give a, a lot back to veterans. Yes, um, this is our big supporting organization that we contribute to called WhenLifeSucks.org. And while it has a humorous name... Um, what they do is really serious. I mean, it really helps to get a veteran who may be struggling with PTSD, family member who can't get through the meandering through of the programs that yeah. where they need the help, and they help do all that. Believing we have a similar mindset of getting people outside. So just today, from 11 to 2, you're doing a lot here um, at Coastal yeah. to highlight and benefit this organization. But that's not the only organization that you benefit. I mean, you're pretty oh, integrated yeah. within the community. Please don't ask me the list because it's too big. <laughs> I don't know where it is. But that's your way to serve back the community that serves you. You know, yes, it, and absolutely. It helps you build your business. My girls, in fact, um, told me, they said, oh, he owns this business. He, he must be very wealthy. But really. <laughs> you probably you, get that too. <laughs> sometimes I do. Sometimes as I do, but really we give back to the community and help support by having employees and a place for work, and it's a it's a livelihood that we both have built for ourselves here yeah. in Somerville. It's it's an absolute blessing, and you know that I recently traveled with April all across the country. For, it was 51 days, 7,800 miles, and what we took away from it was that this is always going to be home. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a place to come back to. It's a place that you know everybody. And how many people send things out saying, when somebody else goes away, please keep continue to post and share that because we're getting to see a part of America that I may not have had the opportunity to go see or the time to see. And I have an amazing team that allows me to do that. So Yeah. It's all about the people. It really is. is. Whether it's the employees or the customers that come in, it's it this community has a strong work ethic. Would you agree with that? I do. Yeah, it's, it's really strong. I mean, there's so much that happens in Somerville. Culturally, there's tons of organizations, and I don't know that I've ever been a part of a community that's been more philanthropy-based than Somerville. It, that's very true, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Um, and even community-based. So we do the Pledge of Allegiance at 8 o'clock every morning. You've been a part of that. I have. And it when I go away, it's not relied on my staff to f- make that happen. You have community members that Our step in. Our community will step in. No, they could be veterans. They could be business owners. They could be um, political, civic people. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that we live in the greatest country in the world, mm-hmm. and it's not a bad thing to say, yeah, I'm proud to live here. Yeah. Yeah, this is my roots got very deep here. So when I moved um, from from Alabama to Charleston, it was for a six week internship. 
but I stayed in Charleston because I love the culture, I love the atmosphere, I love the weather. There were a lot of reasons why I stayed, but when I started to look at having a family, I decided to move to Somerville specifically oh, nice. because I wanted the schools, I wanted the yeah. community, I wanted the, the the events that would happen out at the town square. You know, it was all of that Third is what Thursday. I wanted to write. Third Thursday, although it wasn't a thing when I first moved yeah. here, but it has certainly gotten to be. The farmer's market on Saturday mornings, right which all have a presence yeah, at right as there. well. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much. It's almost you, you don't have enough time to be integrated into every aspect of this community, but there's a lot. There's there's something here for everybody. If you, how many places have you gone? Well, there's nothing to do here. There's nothing to do here, and I think that mindset doesn't exist here because mm-hmm. there's so much to do. It's almost too many things to yeah. do, and you're. We've had these conversations where it's like, well, I got four events I got to be at. I can't split myself four ways. So, you do the best you can. That's right. And. And everybody's supportive of each other. And I think that really, really helps. It plays into and it bu- builds that community that we were talking about earlier. You yeah, know, they say two degrees of separation or seven degrees. What, how about the, it just reminded me of that story where we were trying to, lost the lock oh, yes. or the key for the lock. And we were hacksawing the cable. And the guy that was helping me, Rashawn, uh-huh, was I remember. Uh, somebody that you went to school with? Or yeah, you guys you, he went, went to Auburn, yeah. and I did too. Yeah, graduated. <laughs> yeah, so we That's made a quick connection quick right connection out. Right here at Coastal Coffee Roasters, and That's that right. happens a lot. I bet it does. I bet it does. There's not a time that I come in here that I don't see at least one or two or ten familiar faces um but that's that's the community that we're talking about that somerville really has to offer and so well i'm proud to be a part of this community and i'm so thankful that we've gotten to be friends oh absolutely and um so the hope is that other people will as they move into town they can benefit from our services we can lead them you know depending on where their interests are uh, where they want to serve you know the community we can point them in the right direction of service as well that's what we're for just a meeting place to help guide that conversation that's right that's right awesome. well thanks brad for joining me today absolutely have a great weekend thanks you happy too. veterans day yes thanks for joining stay tuned for next week